Hey there and welcome back. This is Felix from Gold Armad Vintage Watches. Certificates of origin, extracts from the archives. Are these papers useful or is it sheer waste of money? Today we explain the difference between both documents, where and how you can get them, what infos we can gain, how deep you have to dig into your wallet and last but not least, how we generally feel about papers when buying vintage watches. I think many of you watching this video are already collectors or just want to start collecting watches. And as befits a true collector, part of the fun is hunting down as much information as you can about the object of desire. Many brands still keep thousands of handwritten books about the formal production numbers, serial numbers and calibers. And they're very proud of this and have managed to preserve these books for us. Mostly for a fee, but sometimes even for free. For a long time I thought this is a service that only the top brands offer their clients. But this is not the truth. Brands like, for example, Tissot and Venice also provide this service. But before we look at all the companies out there in more detail, let's first clarify what is the difference between an extract from the archives and a certificate of origin. First things first, an extract from the archives is neither a proof of authenticity nor a warranty certificate. Rather, it's a document that provides you with information for all timepieces produced by the manufacturer. The kind of information supplied and the name given to these documents varies by manufacturer to manufacturer. An extract of the archives can be made without sending the watch to the manufacturer, but only with the numbers you can find on the watch, on the case, on the case bag, on the movement, and sometimes with pictures. Like on this Patek Philippe extract, it describes the type of the watch, wristwatch, pocket watch, table clock, the movement number, the caliber, the case number, the dial type, strap or bracelet type, the date of manufacture, and the date of sale. Remember that the extract should provide as a description of the watch as it was made, and only at that one time. It says nothing about the current condition of the timepiece. So the most common mistake is that buyers automatically assume an extract from the archive of a watch with an authentic condition. In the other hand, the certificate of origin, like this Vacheron Constantin example, is much like a birth certificate that contains all the details needed to identify a timepiece. These documents guarantee the authenticity of the watch. They always require a personal inspection by the manufacturer and are often only available as a part of a service. For many brands like Patek, for example, is a certificate of origin a unique document, which must be held in safekeeping. If it's lost, no copy will be available. Other companies like Vacheron Constantin or Audemars Piguet, for example, will issue these certificates afterwards, of course for a crisp price. Concluding, we can say that an extract from the archives is not as good as a certificate of origin. The certification paper or card is given to you when you buy the watch and contains the date and the name of the owner. The extract only confirms that the watch with a specific movement and case number is a specific reference and contains information about the color of the dial, complications, etc. Finally, let's talk about how useful it is to have papers. Is it important to buy only watches with papers and boxes as well? Many people feel that papers and boxes give them a kind of security when buying vintage watches and mean that the previous owner took great care of the watch. They automatically associate papers with originality. But isn't it a little bit stupid to think you can fake a watch but not a piece of paper? People fake banknotes and we don't even notice when we have one in our hands. Now imagine how much money you can make with fake papers. And beside fake papers, there are also many original papers that were simply never filled out. You can buy them by dozen at any watch fair or even on eBay. For example, just Two weeks ago we were at a watch fair and we saw dealers who sell more Rolex boxes than watches. But why it is so difficult to find old watches with the original papers and boxes? One of the reasons is a cultural change. For a long time it was not common for people to buy and sell their wristwatches as a part of a hobby. They usually went into a watch store and either left without the box and papers and just carried the piece out the door. In some cases they left with the box and papers and then threw it all away. As they had just bought a new shirt that, seeing that it fit, didn't want to return, so they threw away the receipt. In the mid-20th century, manufacturers have sold boxes not to keep them for years, but simply as packaging material. For this reason, they decompose over the years. But if you're lucky enough to find a box in good condition, including papers, the rarity means a faster charge up to 25%. We're not suggesting that you should not buy a watch if it comes with box and papers. Just please don't make the deal depend on it. Many people are looking for their favorite reference for years, finally find it and then skip the deal because it is not offered with box and papers. 
However, one exception is true for modern watches. If a watch from the last years comes without box and papers, you definitely have to ask questions. And nowadays, everyone should know that you have to keep box and papers. Of course, it's up to each person how to deal with this issue. We would only advise you to not skip your dream watch if it's offered without box and papers. In the following, we have selected the most popular 50 manufacturers and created an Excel chart. As mentioned before, manufacturers offer certificate of origin and or extracts from the archives. We have distinguished who offers a certificate, who offers extracts and who both. How the prices turn out in each case and have picked out the respective contact. You can download this table easily from our website so you have it quickly available in case of need. If you find any mistakes or have suggestions for other manufacturers to add, please write us a comment below. Let's start today's paper journey with Audemars Piguet. AP offers its clients both certificate and extracts. The price for a certificate is currently 1,500 US dollars and the watch must be sent to Switzerland for inspection and the document contains information about the watch, a picture and confirms the originality of the timepiece. For the extract you have to put 500 US dollars on the table and it contains the name of the timepiece, the material, the reference number, the number of the case and movement, the caliber and the date of registration, but without indicating the place of delivery and or sale. Let's continue with Breitling. It was very surprising for me that the company also offers both services. Because it was always quite difficult to find information about old Breitling pieces and their heritage on the internet. In the past we have to take our information from forums among other places, but you never know exactly how reliable the information is or was. Fortunately, Breitling has recognized how important the heritage of its watches is to customers and that this type of customer communication also strengthens the bond with the brand. For this reason, in 2020, Breitling introduced the possibility of ordering a certificate of authenticity for $350 and an extract of the archives for watches from 1944 to 1979 for $150. The next company is IWC. They not offer an archive extract, but a certificate of origin issued by IWC Schaffhausen headquarters. The service costs 360 US dollars. The certificate requires an inspection by one of their watchmakers and the information included on the certificate relates to the type, case and the movement, possibly along with information about the watch's characteristics. To order the service, you must take the watch to an IWC boutique or an authorized dealer or send the watch directly to the technical center in Texas. You'll find the contact mail in our Excel list. Yeah, let's follow up with Jäger Le Coultre. You can order in Jäger Le Coultre extract from the archives, which will be available in approximately three months. This service costs around 350 US dollars and is available for watches that are older than 20 years. However, this service does not include certificates. Number five is Longines. Longines is also one of these companies with full packed archive books and offer you both a certificate for only $150 and extract even for free. Extracts are available via email and a certificate of authenticity can be issued if the piece is examined by one of their watchmakers. Important to know, for watches from 1969 and earlier, please contact Longines directly for help. They have a very good and free support for these requests. Number six, Omega. Omega also offers both services. The archive extract contains detailed information about the watch and how it left the factory in Beale, as well as the production date. The price for an extract is $120. Omega also issues certificates of authenticity for $800. US dollars. Omega's heritage team has access to records of vintage watches and has been set up to authenticate Omega watches that are over 30 years old. The report will not only give the customer information about their watch, such as its serial number and when it was produced, but it will also provide the customer with an evaluation of the watch's current condition. However, to take up this service, you have to visit a certified Omega boutique. The next watch manufacturer on our list is Patek Philippe. Patek only offers extracts from the archives for watches between 1939 up to 1989 for a fee of 500 US dollars and no certificates. A little fun fact here, only one extract is issued per watch for a period of five years. And if multiple requests are made from different sources for the same timepiece, only the first request will be fulfilled. On some auction lots, it says believed to be or attributed to Patek Philippe. This means that the seller was not able to obtain an extract for some reason. For example, if the case and movement do not match, if the case and or the dial are incorrect, etc. 
The next company is the problem child Universal Genève. As we mentioned in the last video about the IR Compacts, the brand's website has not been updated since 2009. Extracts from the archives are offered, but whether the contact works, we cannot say. We have also not found anything about the costs. Furthermore, Universal Genève does not offer a vintage watch certification. Let's head over to Vacheron Constantin, which is the only company offering three different services. A certificate of authenticity for 950 US dollar, an extract from the archives for 150 US dollars, and a certificate for insurance proposals for 106 US dollars. This certificate indicates which is the last selling price in Swiss francs. It does not guarantee the authenticity of the timepiece. Please note that this valuation certificate is not the same as the current market value of the watch, which may be more accurate for insurance purposes. The next company is Zenis, and surprisingly, Zenis also offers both papers. A Zenis archive extract lasts up to 30 days and costs only 50 US dollars, making it the cheapest candidate of all manufacturers behind Longines. A Zenis certificate of authenticity requires an inspection by one of Zenis watchmakers in the Locle, Switzerland. You can order this service from one of Zenis service centers, boutiques, or certified dealers. The cost is 500 US dollars and includes a certificate and reproductions of documents that Venice teams can find in the manufacturer's archives related to your watch. Unfortunately, there are also well-known companies that don't offer any services in this direction, like Tudor, Rolex, Cartier, Hoyer and Movado. So that's all from today. We hope you learned something new and enjoyed this topic as we do. So have a great day and hope to see you in our next video.